What's up everyone, Milan here. In this video series, I'll explain everything to do with multi-threading in Android. So let's start off by seeing what happens when a user opens your app. So when a user opens your app, on create will be called and a main thread will be created. And it'll keep looping until on destroy is called. So what happens in this main thread? Well, everything from UI rendering to any button clicks any text view updates. From by default, everything will happen on this main thread. Now let's see why that's a problem. Let's say here, I want to do a database call, db call, and that database call will last five seconds. Well, everything from here to here for those five seconds will completely block the UI. Meaning for those five seconds, no button clicks will be registered no text views will be updated. The app will become very unresponsive. So how do we fix that? Well, let me remove everything. We can fix that by moving that database call onto a new thread that we make. Let's call it DB thread. So now when that database call starts, it'll be on this thread meaning for those five or 10 seconds or however long it lasts, the UI will remain responsive for, to anything the user does. So let's hop into Android Studio to see how we do this. Okay, so I've created a new project here. Now let's go into main activity at XML to set up the layout. So we're gonna drag in a text view, constrain it. and a button. Let's constrain it up. And a uh, second text view. Constrain it up as well. Okay, so let's rename these two text view one and refactor text view two. And the button can the button can just be called BTN. Okay, refactor. Now let's go back into main activity. And let's initialize those two text views up here. So text view, text view one, and text view two. And then on the on create, we find them. So text view one, equals find view by ID r dot ID dot text view one and of course text view two equals find view by ID r dot ID dot text view two okay now let's create a method for that button click so public void Call it button clicked. Pass in a view. Let's go back into the main activity that XML to put the on create to that method. Okay. Now, in here, let's create a runnable. And call it runnable one equals new and hit tab here and it will create everything you need so what a runnable is is basically a task that we can attach to a thread so what task are we going to attach well we're going to attach this text view one dot set text and write down first thread active 
Okay, and now we need to create a thread to put that runnable into. So call thread, thread1 equals new thread, and we pass runnable1. So when this thread activates on the button click, that text view will get updated. Sorry, thread1. Okay, now let's hit run and see what happens. Waiting for it to build. Okay, so let's see what happens when we click the button. Okay, so it crashed. Let's go see the red letters of doom and see why it crashed. So it says, called from wrong thread exception, only the original thread that created a view hierarchy can touch its views. So what that means is only the UI thread can actually update any views. So you're going to ask yourself, how do we fix this? Well, the good folks at Google gave us a way to fix it, and it's by using a handler. So let's call it. Handler equals new handler. So what a handler is, it's basically a way to send a command back to the UI thread. And I'll explain more about the handlers later. But first, let's go into the run method of the runnable. And here you can type handler dot post and then make a new runnable inside hit tab and here's our new run method don't forget your semicolon now let's move that set text into the run method of the handler and let's see if that works okay so let's click the button again and see if that text you actually gets updated Okay, so now it works. So with this handler, you can actually change UI elements from other threads. So, but that's not the only reason a handler is useful. You're gonna ask yourself, why do I have a second text view here? And I'll show you why now. Let's come down here and make a second runnable. So runnable, oops, runnable two equals new runnable hit uh, what hit tab okay don't forget your semicolon and now let's call a new handler handler dot but this time we're going to use the second one called post delayed and make our new runnable inside now over here what you need to do is do this and write down how many milliseconds of a delay we want. So I'm going to write 3000 milliseconds. That's three seconds. So this is why the handler is the big boss. The handler has methods like this that can control not only if the UI gets updated, but exactly when or with a delay. So if we put, let's copy this code, make it easy. Copy, paste. Change this to text view two, and change this to second thread. And now let's go down here and make a new thread. So call thread, thread two, whoops, equals new thread, and put in that second runnable. And call thread two dot start. Okay, whoops, thread two dot start. Now let's run and see what happens. Okay, so now when I click this button, the first text view should get updated immediately, but this one should have a three second delay. So let's see if it works. Okay, so you see this one got updated 
but only after the exact time we specified with this post delayed. Now I'll explain how to use Handler in more detail in the next video.